all amino transferases work on an amino acid they will remove the amine group transfer it to an acceptor keto acid and as I mentioned to you, one of the important acceptor keto acids is alpha-ketoglutarate. So when you add the amine group to alpha-ketoglutarate, you're going to form glutamate. The amino acid glutamate. So in many ways, many amino acids will eventually donate that nitrogen to alpha ketoglutarate to give you glutamate so glutamate becomes the sink for all that nitrogen coming from ami other amino acids okay so that's the first important concept second important concept is that once you remove the amine group from the amino acid the donor amino acid in this case you have to form what you what you are left with is the alpha keto acid derived from this amino acid two other important aspects of amino transferases or trans aminases that's those two terms are synonymous amino transferases or trans aminases First, is that they are reversible. You see all the arrows? They can work in a variety of different ways. You can start at the bottom, end up at the top, or start at the top and end up at the bottom. That's what these four arrows mean. Second important thing is that they all require B6, vitamin B6, or pyridoxal phosphate as a coenzyme. <coughs> So, we're going to talk about two specific transaminases. One, the first one uh, is called uh, alanine transaminase, abbreviated ALT, and the second one is called aspartate transaminase, abbreviated AST. So, we're going to talk about this one. Usually, the name tells you what you're starting with if you want in this case we're starting with alanine so i want to give you before we go further which is really the next slide but i just want to say assume let's say this was alanine and you donated its um, amine group to alpha ketoglutarate to form glutamate what would be left of alanine is pyruvate the keto acid pyruvate and that's what ALT does alanine donates its amine group to alpha ketoglutarate you form glutamate what's left of alanine is pyruvate okay this is called ALT alanine amino transferase or alanine transaminase the same thing they refer to the same thing okay so in effect there are many transaminases that do the same thing that ALT does but they're specific for other amino acids what I mean the same thing I mean they donate their amine group to alpha ketoglutarate so you end up collecting a lot of glutamate as the nitrogen or the amine sink from many amino acids so this is a very important concept here glutamate is during degradation of many amino acids glutamate is collecting these nitrogens okay the second enzyme 
is going to do kind of the reverse. So let's start now with glutamate that we've collected many nitrogens from many amino acids through transamination from and then glutamate will lose its amine. This one is written slightly differently, not to confuse you, but that's how the book had it. Uh, the amine group here is donated to an acceptor molecule in oxaloacetate. So this amine is donated to oxaloacetate to when you add the amine group to oxaloacetate, you form the amino acid aspartate. Okay, what's left of glutamate is alpha ketoglutarate, the carbon, the keto acid derived from glutamate. The enzyme that catalyzes the conversion of glutamate to aspartate, if you want, is uh, called aspartate transaminase. Now, this intermediate here, this is in the, in the middle, is just to show you that pyridoxal phosphate of vitamin B6 is really kind of plays a role in carrying that amine, but don't worry about that uh, beyond that, okay? So you need pyridoxal phosphate. But again, glutamate loses its amine to oxaloacetate or transfers its amine. Its amine is transferred to oxaloacetate to give you aspartate. What's left of glutamate is alpha-ketoglutarate. So ALT, AST are really two important transaminases uh, that are uh, uh, very important in the degradation of key amino acids, okay? Uh, and we'll talk about that some more once we get to the urea cycle, okay? If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.